Hey everyone, this is Joseph with Luxa Marketing. I just want to make a quick video to show you how you can get your information in Google search results to get your business more phone calls. Now I did a quick search, Carpet Cleaners Modesto, California, and as you can see, there are three businesses listed here. Now this is called Google Business Listings. These are people that have these are businesses that have put in their information in Google's system and are now being displayed in search results. Um, and this is how you do it. You Google um, business, just Google Google business. Sounds weird, but, and you're gonna be taken to this page. You're gonna see some result that says, um, get a free listing from Google My Business. And click start now. And it's gonna ask you for, first it's gonna ask you to sign in. Um, Sign into whatever Gmail account you have. Um, possibly you'll be using a Gmail account for your business. Just sign in with that. And then it's going to ask you for your name. So now this is just an example. This is not a real business. Now put in your information exactly the way it is listed on any mail you receive. Um, for example, if you have um, an office and it's going to say suite, you know, 39, you want to change that to whatever the mail comes that you receive. Change that to number 39 or however, however it's displayed in Google Maps. Um, <clears throat> Now, this is a theoretical example, so we're at carpet cleaners, carpet cleaning service. If you can't find a category that exactly fits your business, um, find the closest thing to it. You know, for example, if you're um, sometimes, or carpet cleaning specifically, it doesn't have carpet cleaning service, but it'll have, you know, uh, you know home services. That's what you would choose, something like that. Now, <clears throat> yes, we do. And what this means, I deliver goods and services to my customers at their location. What it does is if you do not have a storefront, you work from home, you can click yes on this and it will hide your address in search results. Now, if you have a store that you want people to be visiting, you would click, you would click no. And we service Modesto. Add that. And I also serve customers at my business address. Again, this is... What I was mentioning before, if you just serve from home, you don't want people coming to your house, don't click it. And none of these match. So there you go. We're on our way to getting our business verified. I'm authorized to manage this business. Yes, we are. And in doing so, this will create a Google Plus page for people to find. It's kind of a free, it's not exactly a website, but it's a free way to get your information in search results now you're going to have to get a verification code google does this to keep people from setting up multiple business accounts at fake addresses um you know i'm doing this for a demonstration of course but they don't want people just to get you know hundreds of free business listings they want to know that this is a real company a real business that people are someone's on the other end setting up a listing for this and it's a real business so you want to get that in the mail and they're going to send it to whatever address you put in and um, you can always put in if you're uh if you have an office you can put in um, your name so that it becomes the office you know it's not thrown away as junk mail and click send postcard now that postcard is going to arrive some in between one and two weeks now that's what they say sometimes they say under five days it's it's they're really fishy about it you know, you can request this and you can get it in three days or sometimes it's a little over two weeks. So whichever, just be patient, it'll get there. And this is the important part. Right here at this point, you requested a verification postcard. Now, do not make any changes or additions to this listing. If you happen to make a change, such as, looks like I didn't add the phone number, no big deal, such as um, add a photo, you add a profile photo right now, it could cancel 
the verification code on the postcard they just sent out to you and you'll have to wait for another one to come. So I would not mess with any of this. What you could do if you want to add all this information before you get your postcard, um, on the page before this, it was asking if you wanted to verify now or verify later. You could click verify later, add all this information, and then up here there would be a button that says verify now, and then you click that and request your postcard. Um, but for now, do not touch anything. If you were in this situation right here, do not touch anything. Do not add any information. Because what it'll do is it'll cancel your postcard, and you have to wait for another postcard. And that is a little frustrating because obviously, like I said, it takes weeks to get it sometimes. And when the postcard comes in the mail, it's just going to be a simple um, envelope just like this. It's going to get you that code. And when you get that code, um, this isn't a real postcard, obviously, but when you get that code, you're going to want to come back into this page that you just came in. And it's going to give you an option to verify now. And that is where you enter the, I'm trying to find that button somewhere if it's going to give it to me uh, pending verification yeah so it's not going to give us that button because it hasn't been five days yet but when you get it just take that code enter it in here and you are good to go and your business will be verified so you can get your information in search results and getting calls um, as soon as you get found let's put it that way all right if you have any questions don't hesitate to give me a call or text and yeah, good luck and hope you get more customers.